Hi scholars, this is Missy and it is reading time. I want you to shout, it's reading time. We are going to read an engagement text and a decodable. Materials. So go ahead and put your thinking cap on. Ready? We have three new learning targets for our lesson. Please follow along with me as I read them. Our first learning target says, using evidence from the text, I can answer questions about the text, the tail of the knight's nose. The second learning target says, I can read the high frequency words, brought, piece, new, huge, new, saw, whole, whole, and eight. The last learning target says, I can read the decodable text, Sam's story, the tale of the knight's nose. Transition song. Gather round together, together, together. It's time to hear a story, a story, a story. It's time to hear a story and say what you've learned. Read aloud. Listen carefully as I read the tale of the knight's nose. Make sure you're listening closely because I will ask you questions at the end. Here we go. Sam sat at the dining room table with his head in his hands. He was frustrated. His class had been given the assignment to write a story. Sam had no idea where to begin. Mr. Motes told them that the story should be a fairy tale, include a main character with a weakness of some kind. Sam knew he wanted the story to be about a knight, but what would his weakness be? There were so many fairy tales about knights. How could he create a new idea that nobody had heard already? As he sat there, he smelled something. What was it? Yum! He thought. He fouled his nose to the kitchen. He was smelling the fresh chocolate cupcakes. Dad was baking for dessert. Sam was watching Dad decorate the scrumptious cupcakes with icing when he had an idea. I know, he exclaimed. The knight will be very brave and smart. He will be strong and able to see very long distances and hear things from very far away. His weakness would be his nose. He will have no sense of smell. Dad loved the idea. Sam and Dad brainstormed together before Sam began to write the story. Question and answer. Let's talk about what we just read. Why was Sam frustrated? Sam was frustrated because he couldn't decide what his character's weakness would be. He wanted to come up with an idea that nobody had already heard. Here's our next question. Sam's class had been given the assignment to write a story. What does the word assignment mean? An assignment is a job, task, or even homework. The next question is, the story says that dad was decorating scrumptious cupcakes. What must scrumptious mean? Scrumptious describes something that is delicious or really good. The last question says, a sentence in the story says, Sam was watching dad decorate the scrumptious cupcakes with icing when he had an idea. What was Sam's idea? Sam's idea was to make the knight's weakness be his nose so that he has no sense of smell. Can you imagine that? Me neither. 
Woodwork. It's time for us to look at some high frequency words and add them to our snap or track chart. Remember, we will put words that play fair or follow the rules in the snap column. And words that do not play fair or are not spelled as we would expect in the track column. Here we go. Brought. In this word, we see the spelling pattern O-U-G-H. This is a tricky pattern with silent letters. Let's put brought in the track column. The next word is huge. This word is a magic E word. We expect to hear the long U sound and we do. Huge is a snap to read. The next word is peace. This word has a magic E and a vowel team. I-E, that makes it kind of tricky. Let's go ahead and put peace in the trap column. Our next word is new. We know that words that begin with K-N, the K would be silent. We haven't learned the vowel team E-W yet. So the word is also a trap word. The next word is saw. This word has the vowel team A-W, which says aw, just as we would expect. Saw is a snap word. Hole. This word is a magic E word. We expect to hear the long O sound, and we do. Hole is a snap word. The next word is hole. Here is another magic E word with a long O. This word is a homophone to the word hole that we just learned. This hole refers to a hole in the ground. Hole is also a snap word. Here's our last word. Eight. This is another magic E word that should have a long A sound, and it does. Eight is a snap word. Go ahead and give yourself a silent celebration for all of your hard work. Fluency. Now, we will start reading our decodable reader, The Tale of the Ninth Nose. Try to remember these high frequency words, and each time you hear a high frequency word, jump up. The words are brought, huge, peace, new, saw, whole, whole, and eight. Watch for the blue underline to help you know when to jump. Are you ready? Here we go. The king of the land of peace loved chocolate. For his birthday, the queen had a huge chocolate bar made for him. It was so big that it took two men to carry it. It was covered with a pretty gold wrapper. Hopefully you jumped for a high frequency word, huge. Make sure that you're listening closely. It smelled so good that he almost ate the whole thing, but decided to wait until the next day. He was still full from his chocolate birthday cake. He had eaten eight pieces. We have three high frequency words on this page. Eight, whole, and pieces. That night, Pirates came and stole the whole chocolate bar. A brave knight heard about the fate of the chocolate bar. He told the king he would do his best to locate it and bring it back here to the land of peace. Hopefully you jump for our one high frequency word, whole. The knight was very strong. He could see far into the distance and hear every tiny sound. But he didn't tell the king one thing. He couldn't smell. His nose just didn't work. The knight knew he would be able to see, hear, and fight the pirates. But how would he find the hidden chocolate if he couldn't smell it? We have one high frequency word, new. 
The knight found the pirates. They were on the beach by their ship. They would soon sail away into the sea with the chocolate. The knight hid in the night, watching the pirates. He couldn't see the chocolate bar anywhere. If only he could smell it, then he might be able to find it. Then his strong eyes saw a glint of gold, almost like the rays of sun. It was the chocolate bar wrapper. It was hidden in a hole in the ground. He snuck over to the hole. He was so strong he was able to drag it away. The pirates never saw him. We had three high frequency words, saw, hole, and hole. The knight returned to the land of peace and brought the chocolate bar to the king. The king was so happy that he shared a piece of the chocolate with the knight. The king had a big piece too. We had three high frequency words, brought, peace, and peace. Closing reflection. Which high frequency words were not tricky for you to read? Which were tricky for you to read? You did a great job reading today. Don't forget to read for at least 20 minutes every single day. Practice your fluency and be on the lookout for those sight words that we just learned. Great work and I can't wait to see you next time.